driving them, watching live. Also, yanking down the bell housing, the flywheel. Let's see what's up with the, uh, the rear main seal. So, uh, gonna knock this out real quick. Hopefully, that'll be it. And hopefully it's like a crack in it, so I will know for sure that that's it and that's a problem. But other than that, we're gonna get started on this. Let's get it. Okay, so here's the rear main. It looks like it is leaking. That'll probably give you a better look of it. There it is, right there. I don't see anything up top. It's dry up top, top, dry, dry, dry. And then wet right here, and it looks like it's just seeping out and seeping down. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's definitely seeping down. Because this would just, if it was from the oil pan, it'd just be dripping right here, so. Yeah, let's yank this out. All right, let's try to see if we can get it out. That broke it. The seal right there. Oh yeah, there it is. I know, it's gonna be all over my face, too. You better watch out, because there's gonna be oil. <sighs> Shouldn't be. There's gonna be. There you go, there's the go. Oh, there you go, man. Oh! Come on, I'm peeing. That grease, that part of your body, yeah. That's a lot. It's not bad. That's your problem. Oh. I don't know what it was though. You no know, silicone? It has silicone. I siliconed it. When you use silicone, you gotta kick that like me. You yeah, waste, you can't get it off. You gotta waste the whole tube. Those like to waste material. Yeah, you be. Now I gotta clean all the inside out. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. All right, so as I'm painting with this paint right here, I realized that it started coming out like silly string. Once it came out like silly string, I was like, all right, man, let me just try to spray the rest of this out. Sprayed it out, boom, started spraying regular. Once it started spraying regular, I sprayed it on there and then it started misting out in chunks. And now look at it. It doesn't look too bad. It looks like it's glossy though, but this backside is horrible. Look at it, hold on, hold up. Don't act like we didn't just see that. Hold on, where you going? Ugh, look at this. That is a rough texture. This is getting me mad too, cause this layer was good. It was, it was nice and solid, I'd say. Now it's just ruined. And then right here, it didn't cover good because it wasn't even, it's basically the whole, all the paint was out of the can when it was coming out like silly string. So all this is just that, that clear stuff, I guess, that, mm -hmm, just not the color. So I gotta try to get this fixed today. I'm gonna wet sand it with 600. I'm gonna probably just wet sand this because no one's gonna see this. That's too much sanding. But I'm gonna sand this bottom part, this, and this top part right here. Let's do it though. You see all these bubbles in there? Yeah, I'll spray it from a distance. Still bubbles. It's ridiculous. It's having bubbles everywhere. I had to wipe this little corner on here. Look at those. Look at that. Never again will I ever get that, that VHT. It's the second time it's messed up. I've never in my life had to deal with something like this before. Look at it, it's bubbling. It's bubbling up. I miss, I did every single step that I've always done. I missed it on the first time and then I'm a little light coat on the second coat, started getting a little wet on the third and now look at it. I was just lightly spraying and it would just get worse and worse and worse and worse. So never again will I ever use this crap. I got my stuff looking like trash. This is ridiculous, man. I had to cake it to get the bubbles out. There were bigger bubbles in this. I had to cake it. Look at this, drips everywhere now. I had to cake it, literally. It's just ridiculous, man. Look at, this is what I was doing. This is exactly what kind of bubbles were on here before I had to cake it. This is all the, the trials that I tried and was just messing up every single time. Never again will I ever get that, man. Start to do Rust-Oleum every time. And bad news again, and we're done. The rack is leaking, once again. I didn't even tighten those completely stupid tight. Got them to snug, and probably like, maybe like a little tiny look. Eh, that's it, and it's leaking. This is just ridiculous, man. 
And then I try to I try to snug them even more. Nothing. Leaking. Look at all these ants too. Horrible. <sighs> the frustration. This is just ridiculous. This is back and forth. This is the second time. Maybe, I don't know, maybe might have hit this hose too far or something when I was trying to go underneath to do the rear main. I don't know, maybe I bumped into it. Maybe it's leaking because it's leaking from the top one again. So, I don't know. I'm going to take this top hose back and, and trash this, buy it from a different website because I think that might be the issue. I don't know. Starting back up on it today. I'm going to hopefully uh, do the transmission. <sighs> you guys don't understand. Stressful is an understatement. Look at this, leaked all the power steering fluid out. It's crazy, because when I was actually putting in the seal, it just started dripping all over my shoulder out of nowhere. After I ran it for like 20 minutes, just sitting there idling, stopped it, started it right back up, perfectly fine. Now, I don't know if I bumped into it or not, which I don't think I did, but who knows? It's stressful. This is just an everyday thing of everyday type of stuff that when, or like what happens when you do builds, this is, this is the effect that sometimes happen. So I don't know what it is actually, because now I think it's actually the line leaking. So I might have to get a new line after this. It's the top one. Once we get the transmission up and everything going and everything sealed up, I'm gonna run it and see if it starts shooting out of the line. And hopefully that's it because I'll just buy another one. The bad thing about that is, is that it actually takes like, what, two weeks or something like that? Because AutoZone doesn't have it. I bought their very last one that they had out here in San Diego, long time ago. And I'm pretty sure they don't have it. So we're gonna be screwed on that. All right, but now let me get you guys caught up on these brakes. Cause uh, last time I did one brake and this one I'm doing too and it's, it's kicking me too. This this one's very very much so kicking me while I'm down. Mm, 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 mm. Check it out. Boom. This is so disgusting. Never again. I don't. I don't know if I can go to VHT. I mean, I try to match the color, but I'm gonna see if Rustoleum actually has a uh, a yellow like this because this is this is ridiculous. This never happened to me before ever. I've used I used VHT before. The bubbles happened before on the oil pans which I painted, but I didn't think nothing of it. Look at this. There's just bubbles in there still. Disgusting. There's bubbles in this still. Remember how this one I was saying I was getting a little test. There's bubbles, bubbles. Now it's dried and it actually has bubbles. When it was actually glossy before I left. Still bubbles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably put some paint thinner on it. I'm gonna just take it all off. Right now I'm gonna scrape it with a little razor that I got. I'm gonna see what how far I can get with that. Get this while I wait and then we'll get to the tranny. Look at that. It is just peeling up. That primer sucks. Look at this. Well, that'll just make my job easier. So I guess let's keep on peeling. <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely, that's a huge piece. Look at this. Look at this, never again. What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh, that one actually popped out. Good, okay, okay. This is just ridiculous. Look at this. This is primer. I sanded it too. I used a wire wheel and I actually sanded it with a 600 right after just to scratch up the surfaces, especially on the parts that are gonna be seen. And terrible, just horrible. Hopefully it peels off perfectly fine with everything else. Cause it, I feel that the primer still kind of like, it is still kind of wet. Cause look at that. Yeah, right, just keep going. Try just came, steel peeling, peeling away. It's crazy. Cause uh, he just showed up after right after I started peeling. But I'm pretty sure that it is a primer. I'm gonna check online right now, see what I got, what options I got for Rust-Oleum. Hopefully we we'll get some soon. Look at this crap. God dang. Come on now. I should have just did this once the primer was on. Because this is definitely the primer. Peeling off like Classy did. This in the inside is gonna be a tough one. I hope I hope it start I hope it's peeling like everything else. We'll see. Let me put this camera down. Oh, oh use as much as I can. Oh. Trap big old scary tail, homie. Man, that thing scared the eating jeebies out of me. I seen him all the way over there by the paint. All the way over there by the paint, homie. I was, I was like, Trap, what's on your shoulder, homie? I see you have to come up for real, man. What is that? Ooh, that looks like that looks like a hectic one right there, Trap. That looks like some. Is that a Dude. Chinese symbol on the back? I don't know if I was crawling on my hair or not. Is that a Chinese symbol on his booty? That look like a tree. That's crazy. Sure, I almost died just now. <laughs>
<laughs> that's, that's huge, homie. And where did it come from? Oh, because he's sitting right here. He was sitting right here. The tree is way over there. Unless he caught wind or something. He probably did catch oh, wind. Oh, he got it in your hair. Look at this. That looks like a tree. <laughs> that looks like a perfect tree. I he see. probably laid some eggs up in there, homie. That guy's huge, homie. Look at this. You gotta put your finger next to it. And he gonna jump and bite you. Hopefully not. God dang, only if I had like a quarter or something. Everybody know how big a tin is. Most commonly lost tool. Let's measure that. That's rough. Yeah, that's a deadly one. Time to get back to work. All right, so found another minor setback. Not big of an issue. Luckily, it's down right now. But it's leaking. The tranny's leaking. And it's the retainer sleeve right here. This is the actual, that holds the throttle bearing. That's where it goes. Okay, so right there is leaking. It's dripping. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to reseal it, set it up, throw it in, and hopefully... Hopefully that'll be the last leaks, the last leak off of this car. Let's hope and pray, and y'all pray for me too. Breaking that seal. Uh, so about you. What? So about you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh oh. All right, time to reseal it. Look at this. This is a very thin layer of silicone. It looks like they were being stingy right there on that section. But you just, I mean, just put it. Put a good amount on there so it doesn't leak like this. Seal this up, clean it up right here too. Make it look good. All right. Squish it. Squish it. And oh, damn. Okay. Should have cleaned off the bolts. What is enough silicone on those bolts? Ah, <sighs> look at that transmission. Brand new T5. Straight from Stang Domination. Rebuild, baby. Rebuild. Okay, let's get a little clean on the bolts. Yeah, let's put this in there. Almost done, don't worry. Hopefully these go in, because I did put a lot of silicone and they probably like oozed into the bolt holes, but hopefully it went. Yeah. <sighs> don't mind that plane. Uh, do you make sure that they thread it in properly? Go ahead and hit it one time. Go across. Oh. Let go super tight. Just snug. You don't go super tight because if you go super tight, it's gonna make a thin layer. We don't want a thin layer. So just go snug, just a good amount. Come back the next day, tighten it, put it up. So that's a wrap. Catch y'all tomorrow. Right, so while Torrance at home editing, me and Boog. We'll finish up throwing the tranny up and the exhaust in the drive shaft. We let the retainer sleeve dry overnight. Now we'll torque down those bolts, throw it up and be good. A little tip, if it's only two of you, grab some tie wire, go around the, the U joint right there, tranny. That way it holds the drive shaft in so you don't get no leaks when you go throw this thing back up. That's all greased up, ready to go. I can stretch your bolts standing up. Okay, let's try to get that through Alright. Cross. Cross over. Roll out. Let's roll. Ready? Let's go down. One, two, three. Uh, sit it up. Let me. Uh, sit it up. Let me. 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 Ready? Watch out for the cross member too. Don't let it hit you in the head. All right, go. One. All that we gonna throw it all the way up, okay? Yeah. One, two, three. That's it. Okay. Here, scoot up. I got it. I got the tranny. Scoot up toward the front so you can see it. Feed your boat or do your boat. You good? Right there? Oh. Ah, right there. Something's leaking. Where? I thought I saw something. What's that? I thought I saw it.
Well, right, guys, we are officially done. Me and Trav knocked it out. We put the transmission up, put the exhaust up, and then put the dry shaft on. Easy money. Now we're just gonna go ahead and pass it on to Torn. Since he's at home editing right now, but you know, we're done. It's looking good. No leaks right now, and we hope it stays that way. All right, guys. Dang, clean. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang, it's still there. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started on this today. So hopefully nothing is wrong with it. We're gonna see if any leaks are going. I'm gonna put like something underneath, probably like a little paper towel to see if uh, I get any leakage down there. But, oh yeah, glasses are back, baby. I ain't fix them. I just haven't been wearing them because my little frame, you know what I'm saying? Look at this, look at this. It's a little loose, so it sits on my face a little, a little loose. It slides everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get them fixed. Why? Because of car parts and cheering, all right? Car parts and children, and you don't get that stuff fixed, you worry about other things. Worry about other things, not glasses. Or if this little piece right here breaks, shoot. Rocket like how they used to back in the days. I'm just like this, right over the eyeball. That's, <laughs> that's all I need. All right, anyways, let's get started. Let's get to it. Let's get this, uh, let's get this thing fired up. All right, a little messy. Don't mind it. Hold on. Let's see what we got. Clutch chain hooked up. Wow. Star. Oh damn! Hold up! That'd have been fleeing everywhere, effing everything up. Radiator would have been trash. Letting everything run for about like a good solid five minutes or more, probably. And hey, amazing boy. I may not look it, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm excited, I'm happy because look, check this out. And it's still on, so it should it should be leaking, I would think. But no more leakage from the rack, not one drop. I just wiped it off before I got here. I wiped it off, cleaned it up to see where it'd be leaking from. It hasn't spewed out, it's full. It is full. But I did find out that this line right here is leaking. You can see it wet right here. It gets wet after a little while, so definitely gonna have to replace that one. That one goes from the bottom of the, of the power steering down, so we're gonna replace that one for sure. I want zero leaks on this car. Check this out. Now one drop, baby! Now one drop, baby! All right, I'm gonna switch it off. That's all that bubbling, you know what I'm saying? Make the neighbors mad. All right, so that is a win. That is a huge win for me. So now I don't have to worry about the rack. I don't know what it was. I don't know why it would leak like that. I have no idea. But it leaked, literally, it leaked all the fluid out on the ground. Um, No dripping no more from the oil, from the rear main seal. So that was it, and that's a, that's a, a huge accomplishment for me uh, I want to thank Trav and Boog you know what I'm saying I had to put them to work you know but I you know appreciate them for doing that for me while I edited the videos but yeah I'm done I'm done so next step is just to you guys already know what step it is I'm gonna I'm try to get this thing rolling and to where I can actually drive it so fans cut on fans you know fans are on everything's running smoothly it doesn't overheat it idles perfectly fine what else can I say? I'm done with this thing, baby. I'm almost done. 
Look at this. I want you. Hold on. Let me check it. Let me check it out. Let me check it out. Oh yeah, baby. Not one single drop. We'll wait a few days and see if it actually leaks because it was just sitting here out of nowhere and it just started leaking. So we'll see how that happened. But we'll see uh see once we get to that point. Oh, is there any oil down here? Let me see if there's any oil. I ain't no oil. It's supposed to be oil. Nothing. I'm in the clear, baby. We're good to go. So that about wraps it up for this week's video. Um gonna have to catch you guys next week and hopefully this will be driving. <laughs> Who am I fooling? I don't know if this thing gonna be driving home with all these problems that I keep finding. So we'll, we'll just catch you guys next week. So have a good one. Enjoy. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.